Hi, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Sonal Sharma and I am working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. In today's video, we are going to cover the transaction matching module, which is the second module of ARCS application. So today uh, we are going to start with transaction matching module. In the reconciliation compliance module, which was the first module of this application, we understand how to reconcile the balances over the organization. But here in the transaction matching, we are going to uh, cover, you know, reconciliation, the transaction matching for, for each and every transaction, which is helpful for those companies who are having a high volume, labor intensive reconciliation transactions and multiple, you know, bulky data to a cross match. It is also helpful for those, uh, you know, uh, organizations who want to improve their quality, reduce their risk. Uh, this uh, particular module can be taken on licensed basis, like it is not mandatory. Uh, that you can take both the modules. Uh, it is optional to have the reconciliation one or the transaction matching. Here we need to understand some key concepts in the transaction matching module. I will tell you uh, with the application part as well. So this is uh, the engine uh, of uh, you know transaction matching module. This is the home page of the ARCS application. This is a matching transaction matching engine. Okay, so I am clicking on it. So let's see how does it look like. This is the list of already created transaction matching reconciliations mm -hmm. over here. As you can see, uh, the ID that is uh, what we use in a reconciliation part as well as the profile ID, the name of the you know, transaction matching, the source system balance, subsystem balances. There were two types of balance in the balance comparison methods and one single, uh, you know, balances system for the re uh, remaining two uh, methods like account analysis and variance analysis methods. Okay, so let's just open it and I'll let you know uh, how how does it uh, looks like and what are the terminology what are the features available for this okay let's have a look over to it let's see uh, the first thing what you need to cover uh, is that match type match type is something let's have a look to the match type uh, which you can go and create in configuration part Match type is basically, you know, determines how the transaction matching process will work for accounts using match types. Okay, that means it is defining the, you know, terms, the IDs, uh, uh, what you can say, the structure of the data to be matched. Okay, as you can see, these are the already created match types. Without this, uh, you know, without creating this match type, you cannot go for transaction matching. So here in the transaction matching module, basically uh, match type is providing company can have multiple types of match type. Okay, like as you can see the intercompany one or the accounts receivable, accounts payable or bank account, multiple type of, uh, you know, match type. It shows the data structure and matching rules are likely to be different from uh, different for each of these type of accounts okay so companies would create a match type and additionally you can also use match type to uh, be able to export adjustment you know back to the erp system as uh, journal entire in a tax file as well okay so just uh, have a look to it well we are going to cover this independently in the upcoming videos Okay, so there are properties you need to provide, the data sources you need to provide. I'll tell you what is data sources. Basically, these are the, you know, attributes which, uh, uh, you know, file or which data file you are going to import for this particular transaction matching can be, you know, the attributes. That means the heading of that particular, you know, transaction file can be given here, which has to be just same to same as the file has, okay? If there is any changes, even a dot or a dash or, um, you know, uppercase or lowercase, it is not going to allow you uh, to take uh, the, you know, data importation, okay? Here you can provide uh, which fields are required or mandatory to fill, which are required to calculation, or accounting date, balancing attribute that can be provided here only. Okay, 
so data sources are basically as per company's requirement these are users okay the first one you can say that there are two types of data sources to see which transactions are you know uh, outstanding and how how it is going to cover outsource okay and the second one is uh, you can provide for netting the transaction within a single data okay here you can see this is a single data in some other match type you can see there would be a two two different systems for balance comparison so this is what data uh, sources all about uh, it defines the attributes of column existing in the data sources as well as any calculated attributes used for data enrichment or normalization purpose okay uh, the other thing you need to understand here uh, before this is uh, that you need to understand that there you can give the transaction types that which types of error or error or you can see uh, say it as what uh, types of categories uh, you know in which the unmatched transaction will fall means what would be the reason for that uh, you know difference that can be provided here in the transaction types there are multiple types of uh, you know rules or match process so match process you can provide the match process detail the data sources here as well as the rules here that how you are going to match it there are multiple types of rules which we are going to cover and uh, this is uh, the you know uh, system uh, adjustments you can provide here okay just journal attribute mapping so this is what match type is all about there you need to understand one more thing that is what would be the frequency and timing of particular you know any matching type so for that when you are uh, you know creating the profile you are going to select the you know frequency of any of the you know profile as uh, you can understand like see uh, timing and frequency can be like you can match the transaction and balances on daily basis you can match it on daily basis but balance it on monthly basis or you can do uh, you know both on monthly basis as well and uh, the way i told you the matching rules there the matching rules uh, like one to one one to many or many to one many to many or there are adjustments as well so these are uh, suppose there are two types of you know source data source systems or subsystems okay we are importing this data and we want to match these transaction one by one on the one by one basis so we are going to provide the rules over here i am just giving you a very very uh, you know basic idea that how these match rules work like suppose you want to uh, match in the source system and subsystem the invoice has to be exactly match means there is no any changes or suppose the source system matches within a you know minus 1 to plus 1 tolerance of subsystem date suppose the date is particular fixed date in the source system so it can be matched in the uh, subsystem uh, with minus 1 and plus 3 dates means that means one day before to three days later this can be the tolerance limit so this is how we are going to cover the transaction matching basically in today's video i am just giving you a very brief and a uh, and a short idea about this now this is it for today we will cover it in detail in the upcoming videos thank you